faith cannot be greater than your view of Jesus faith cannot be greater than your view of Jesus so Jesus comes to the wedding and the next verse problem happens and so we derive from that that faith is not just simply when you have Jesus it means no problems it's just you can overcome those problems they won't define you they won't defeat you and you won't smell like them when it's all over when the problem happens I want you to notice who comes to Jesus first <laughs> when the problem happens I want you to notice who comes to Jesus first it's his mom I want you to listen to me very carefully she's coming to him now I've mentioned before in the beginning of the message Jesus up to this point has never done one miracle how is she certain he can do something that he had has not done in the past 30 years how why him what makes her think that if he hasn't done anything in the past 30 years he's going to do something right now you think this is the first time they ran into a problem of course not what makes her think that the baby she nursed taught how to walk taught how to eat and still probably did his laundry can do something about this problem have you ever had a relationship with God for so long and he hasn't done anything in your life and you stop believing <laughs> you're like I have him I love him he's awesome he's great doesn't do anything in my life <laughs> what do you do you know what I love Mary for for 30 years she has not seen Jesus do one miracle but she still had a view in her mind defined by angels the angels who said he is not a baby he's a king 30 years he's not acting like a king he's still acting like a Jewish man Simon the wise man from the east the angel from God who said that this is not an ordinary baby this is God on steroids this is going to turn the world upside down this is going to be something different and she's living he's 15 he's 16 he's 17 he's 19 he's 20 he's 25 he's 29 he is 30 and nothing is happening she still has the view of him by what God said not by what he has not done this is really the root of faith it's when you can believe and view God by his word not by the things he has not yet done in your life and maybe it's been 30 years that it feels like well I've known him I've loved him I believed in him but I has not seen what it says in here that he can do do you have the guts and the audacity to maintain a view of Jesus that is congruent and consistent with his word not with your past failure and experience a secret of faith I'm blown away by Mary she's not an ordinary woman to maintain a view that Jesus can do something amazing in this wedding though she has never seen him do it for 30 years gives her the right to come to Jesus and say Jesus you gotta do something your faith cannot be greater than your view of Jesus if your view of Jesus is well I prayed for him for this I prayed for him for that and I asked him for that and this didn't happen that didn't happen didn't happen so guess what happens nothing happens with Jesus let me be prophetic on you for a moment nothing will ever happen in your life you can receive there's a prophetic declaration and you will see that that will be true miracles don't happen when your faith is based on what God has not done miracles happen when you still have a view of God though you look in your life and you see there is just none of that what the Bible talks about this Vlad this pastor Vasily other people talk about God can do miracles God can change your marriage God can help you like nothing 30 years nothing be like Mary have a view of Jesus that's not based on what he has not done but based on what he has promised and you will see one day it's not going to be just Jesus it's going to be your healer he's going to be your savior he's going to be who will take you from zero to a hero from a mess to a message from pain to gain from hurt to healing he's going to take your scars turn them into stars and you will see Jesus that oh he's so much better and the Jesus that you feel like well I did laundry for him I brought tithing I'm helping his kingdom but he's not helping me faith 
cannot go bigger than my view of Jesus. I gotta protect my view of Jesus even when I don't see him do anything for some time because if I keep it one day I will come to him and I will see him do it for the first time. Amen. It's so good to see when Jesus does a miracle for somebody for the first time. I've seen it already so many times when Jesus does a miracle for somebody for the first time. I remember when I heard a testimony in the beginning of this year where a, a lady from Kent in a conference when the prayer was offered and I prayed for healing for already for months but I never dared to ask for testimonies because I was convinced there was none and I didn't want to discourage my faith completely. So I wanted to protect my faith and so I didn't ask for testimonies and um, it was for the safety of my faith. And I remember this particular Sunday, this gentleman, he comes here. I don't think, they, uh, they didn't come for Saturday. I think they came just for Sunday for screening. And as I was screening him for the prayer line, he says, hey, by the way, my wife had this problem, had this sickness. And a few months ago when you were there in Kent and you offered prayer for healing, my wife, she felt heat in her shoulder and she was healed. My jaw dropped. I said, you said what? What is she? He's like, well, she still has few sickness. I'm like, I don't care about the sickness. He's telling me about what happened. And he begins to tell me and I was embarrassed to go look for his wife and ask him, hey, tell me. I sent my wife to do that. I said, hey, can you go and ask his wife what happened? And she went in, she's like, yeah, I confirmed. She says that her doctor confirmed that her shoulder is brand new. And I was like, can you ask her to share on the service? Not for you guys, it was for me. And Lana interviewed that lady right here on the stage and the lady testified. When she testified, this was the honestly for me is what happened in John 2. Oh my goodness, God heals. I've played testimonies from Scone for years. I've seen that but it's different when it happens to you. It's your first time. And on that night we took a trip to Portland and we saw seven people come get up and testify of healing. And from that weekend, every single time I go anywhere, there has not been once where somebody wasn't getting healed. Somebody say, my first time. Somebody say, his first time. See, don't, don't think that just because it didn't happen for so long, it won't happen. Don't lose your view of how good Jesus is. Just because you didn't see certain things happen. Because if you do that, for sure nothing's going to happen. But if you can't keep them view. And sometimes when your small thing happens, let your faith explode Hallelujah. to lead you to something greater. Can somebody say